Hello and welcome to Habitech showroom. We're here with Sarah Irish and the magnificent Samsung DeWall. Hi Sarah, how are you? Hi Jenny, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you for coming. Sarah, you are the top notch specialist on this product <laughs> from Samsung. What makes it special? What is about the wall? When did it start? Tell us all about it. No problem, Jenny. So the wall's been around with Samsung for a, a few years now. We launched it in 2018 at CES and we really wanted to come out with a revolutionary product that we could bring into the home market that was really levels above anything that we'd done previously and a really unique piece that could get people excited and interested and uh, give them an experience that they, they've never had before. Um, following on from the CES launch, we then brought it into a retail space so we could really get it in front of people and that was uh, at Harrods in August 2019. Mm -hmm. um, and since then we've really found that the custom market, the, 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 the high level home integrations, it's really something that they've become interested in because it can offer something different to what they've, they've had previously. Um, one of the, the features that we find that people are particularly interested in is the bespoke nature. They really can create something that's perfect for them and their home and what they need to get out of it. Um, be that, that oh, How come? <laughs> how can they do something different, special? We see here, how big is this screen? So the one that we're looking at here is a 146-inch uh, display. Um, this gives off a 4K resolution, um, but we have actually done installations which are up to 292 inches. Wow. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's huge and it is absolutely spectacular. That's for a Buckingham Palace or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, you need some very tall ceilings for that. Um, but it really does create something. If you, if you think that most custom displays are going to be around the 100-inch kind of size, we're given another 50% on top of that. So, Sarah, you said this type of display can be customised on any shape or form. People can do whatever they want. How come? So because it's a modular construction, we really do have the flexibility to create a display that's perfect for the home that it's going into. Um, be that that someone wants to game on it, um, watch some financial data, have a home cinema, display artwork. They really can do what, what they want with it. Um, and that's something that we've not really seen before. Ordinarily, people can ha only have a set size, whereas we can really look at the space that's available and make the most of that and really get to the heart of what the customer wants and, and find out how we can really achieve that. Um, so the display that we've got in front of us is 146 inches, which we do find is the, the size that people most look at, um, but we have done installations up until 292 inches, um, which is just incredible. And I mean, you need some high ceilings to achieve that. Absolutely. But it's absolutely out outstanding. And, and to see something like that, it, it's incredible. Um, and they really are unique pieces. Um, we've also done alternative installations for people who not necessarily want to use this as a TV, but that want to display their artwork. So we can adjust the cabinet. So what we're looking at at the moment is four cabinets wide and four cabinets high to create that 16 by nine ratio. Um, but we have done sizes where we've done two cabinets wide and five high, and it really gives that great portrait are you telling me this is not one screen? No, no. What we've actually got here is 16 cabinets. And within those cabinets, there's 12 modules. Um, but because of the nature of this, it's completely seamless. You wouldn't know that when you're looking at it, um, which is very different that if you want, historically, if you wanted to go larger than what was available, you'd always end up with those bezels and those joins in between. Um, there is even the possibility that if you didn't want to look at one image across the whole display, you could break that down into four. So you could maybe have some family photos on one side, the TV program that you want to watch on the other, some financial market data in the bottom, and then a game on the other side. It, you really no can make fighting. it your own thing. No fighting. No fighting for what you're watching. <laughs> no, exactly. You could, you could have a, a Peppa Pig up there and the football down there. It's, it's completely... Everybody happy. Exactly. So what's the magic sauce? What's the technology behind it? So within, um, behind the, uh, the display, what we can operate is we have an M-Box, a, a media player, a 
effectively. Um, that can sit either behind the installation to the side or in a comms rack um, separately. Um, that runs into the cabinets um, via a fibre and that then operates all of the system. And you can adjust that. It, th there's HDMI connections so that if you wanted to play Xbox on there, that can be connected. We have codes available so that it can be integrated with a Crestron, a Control 4, or any other system, depending on what the home has in there. Um, so it really can be personalised to achieve whatever you want it to. Fantastic. And as far as I've heard, this is micro LED. <laughs> Tell us about micro LED, what's special about it, how does it work, what, uh, what brings to the future of display. So Samsung has a long history with conventional LED and we've typically found that it's very commonplace in commercial environments. So retail spaces, atriums, signage, all of those kind of things. Um, but when you try and transfer that into a home, it doesn't really hit the mark that, that the people need. By creating the micro LED technology, you, you can see, I mean, if you go very, very close up, you can see those. It's it's still made up of that red, the green, and the blue that, that traditional LED is. But because you've got that narrower wavelength, we really can improve the color accuracy and the depiction of the image that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, we've, we've found through testing that that's up to two times what it is c compared to conventional LED. Fantastic. And what happens if something breaks? If something breaks, the great thing about the modular construction is that if one part breaks, we, we, they're, they're sold with spares. So if there's a module that maybe has a, a child's poked its finger into it or something <laughs> like that, yeah. because these things happen, <laughs> you've, you've not lost the entire screen. The module can be taken out and sent off for repair, but you don't have any interruption in your use because you've already got a spare. So you can take one module out whilst that one's being repaired another goes into its place and we only all of the cabinets are sold and they're from the same production batch so from a color accuracy point of view if you swap things out you're not going to have any issues that you're going to notice the difference fantastic it, this room is quite light and you can still see all of the all of the colors speaking about colors yes. tell me about black <laughs> So what we've looked to do with the wall is we know that when people are gaming, when they're watching those cinemas, uh, those cinema images, sorry, the quality of the image is one of the things that people are really looking at. And we've become quite spoiled in that we are always looking for better, clearer, more accurate, more depiction in what we're looking at and those contrasts. Now, we've built something in called Black Seal Technology that really does showcase the deepest of blacks because you and I probably in our home TVs, historically, we've bought a TV, yes. we're looking at something black and white, but we're not really looking at black and white, we're looking at some kind of gray. off grey. <laughs> yes. um, with the wall, we really can create those deep, dark blacks, and you, if you're looking at a nighttime, sister, a nighttime image or something like that, you really do get that life, realistic um, kind of image. Almost like velvet, I mean, you can even see it in here. Exactly. And the image behind, you can see the, the contrasts very, very sharply. Exactly. And we have HDR technology built into this so that it really does optimize the peak brightness and give you that depth and the definition of the of the image that you're looking at. Fantastic. Sarah Arish, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Click below to subscribe and be sure to follow Inside CI on Twitter, Facebook and Google+.